Hey guys, today I'll be reading one of the illustrated children's Bible series, The Creation, Genesis 1. This is the story of how the universe was made. When God began to create the universe, there was nothing to be seen. Darkness covered an, an endless waste of waters, but the Spirit of God hovered over the deep. God said, let there be light. He saw that the light was good, and separated it from the darkness, calling the light day and the darkness night. Evening came, followed by morning, making one day. Then God said, let a heaven appear above the earth, to divide the waters above it from those below. This happened on the second day. On the third day, God said, let the waters be gathered into one place so that dry land may appear. And it happened so. God called the dry land earth, and the gathered waters he called sea. He saw that this part of the, his work was also good. Then God said, Let plants bearing seeds and trees grow out of the earth. And this was so. God saw that his work was good. Once more, evening and morning came, making a third day. On the fourth day of creation, God said, Let there be lights in the heavens, and let them mark out the days, the seasons and the years. Let them shine in the sky to give the earth light. God made two great lights, greater light to rule the day and the lesser light, together with the stars to rule the night. So the sun and moon and stars were made and set in heaven. And by their movements, day and night, and light and darkness were established on the earth. God saw that these two were good. And evening and morning brought the fourth day to an end. Then God said, Let the waters swarm with shoals of living creatures. And let the sky under the vault of heaven be filled with birds. God made, made great sea monsters and every kind of living creature that moves in the oceans and rivers. And filled the skies with every sort of bird. God blessed these first living creatures, which he had made and said to them, Let the fish increase and fill the waters of the world. Let the birds increase on land. Again evening came and morning, and the fifth day passed. On the last day of creation, God said, Let the earth produce every kind of living creature, cattle, reptiles, and wild beasts. And the earth did so. Finally, God made man. Let man be made in the likeness of God. He said, Let him be master of the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, and every animal and every reptile on the earth. When God had made man, he blessed him, saying, Be fruitful and increase. Fill the earth and be master of it and all the creatures in it. I have given you food, every plant on the earth that bears seed and all the trees that give fruit to the birds and animals too. I have given all green plants for food. It happened exactly as God said. He looked around on everything he had made and saw that it was very good. On the seventh day, God seized from his work of creation. He blessed the day and made it a holy day of rest, a time when men might end their labors. Bye.